first of all don't be afraid by seeing this slide today we will learn a clinical condition known as porphyria here i will request you all to go through the heme synthesis video from our youtube channel medi concept especially for those who don't know how heme is synthesized in our body from my teaching experience i have seen students often avoid this topic of porphyria in their undergraduate curriculum but i can assure you after watching this video on porphyria this topic will be easier for you for remembering long time i am not going to discuss it in traditional approach which the maximum biochemistry teacher follow so let's start the topic porphyria the word porphyria was coined according to greek word porphyra that means purple because at the time of discovery scientists thought that urine color of the porphyria patients are purple though it, uh, it is not exactly purple at all it's a uh, deep brownish color in subsequent lectures we will show the slides also for the urine color of porphyria patient now it's a group of rare inherited disorder in which due to metabolic defect there is increased accumulation of different porphyrins and their porphyrin precursors and subsequently their excretion through kidney now clinical features are manifested due to this increased level of accumulation of porphyrin in blood for ease of understanding i will classify the porphyria into two broad type according to the site of the defect and accordingly there will be the clinical features the first one is erythropoietic variety that means it is associated with erythropoietic tissue that is bone marrow mainly and the hepatic variety that is related with liver i further grossly classify the disease under acute and chronic variety and one more thing regarding clinical feature individuals with enzyme defect prior to synthesis of the tetraviral manifest abnormal neuropsychiatric sign symptoms as well as abdominal problems and those with enzyme defect leading to accumulation of tetraviral intermediates they will show photosensitivity in the form of itching or pruritus when they particularly exposed to sunlight just before starting a very quick schematic representation of heme synthesis is worth repeating i am telling again those who had not seen the heme synthesis synthesis video please go through that it will be helpful for you so let's concentrate on the slide see in the slide two diagrams are given one is of liver that means hepatic variety and uh, one is of bone marrow that means erythropoietic variety so all the enzymes related with the heme synthesis are present in both these organs and we will discuss simultaneously both of these two now uh, first both in erythropoietic tissue that is in bone marrow and in hepatocyte in presence of ala synthase enzyme succinyl coa and glycine combine to form ala in liver the name of the enzyme is hepatic ala synthase or ala synthase 1 whereas in bone marrow it is erythropoietic ala synthase or ala synthase 2 already i had discussed this in the heme synthesis video 
now uh, though this deficiency is rare i mean all the porphyria are rare diseases but the first enzyme deficiency does not create porphyria this enzyme deficiency is not classified under the heading porphyria sometimes there is erythropoietic allosynthase deficiency and due to lack of this enzyme heme synthesis will not properly formed as a result there will be x linked sideroblastic anemia i am again telling the name the x linked sideroblastic anemia that occurred due to deficiency of erythropoietic allosynthase but please remember this is not classified under the disease porphyria so we will proceed with the ala or amino lipidic acid or delta amino lipidic acid so ala in both the organ with the help of specific transporter present in mitochondrial membrane come to cytosol in cytosol in presence of ala dehydratase they convert into pbg or porphobilinogen in liver the name of the enzyme is hepatic ala dehydratase in erythropoietic tissue it is called erythropoietic ala dehydratase so hepatic ala dehydratase versus erythropoietic ala dehydratase we can also call the name of the enzyme as pbg synthase here in heme synthesis all the enzymes have dual names okay now the documented disease is called acute hepatic porphyria in which the hepatic ala dehydratase is either deficient or defective and resulting in accumulation of ala within the hepatocyte then they will come into systemic circulation will create clinical manifestation due to over accumulation and finally finally they will be excreted in urine as ala is not a tetrapyrrole so there is no question of photosensitivity photosensitivity will not be manifested in this patient only there is abdominal and neuropsychiatric sign symptoms as the defective enzyme is of hepatic origin so there is no question of anemia also erythropoietic ala dehydratase is absolutely normal in this patient so while lies the defect the defect is present only in hepatic ala dehydratase and the name of the disease is acute hepatic porphyria clinical features are abdominal and neuropsychiatric sign symptoms and no photosensitivity is there we will now proceed with pbg this pbg or porphobilinogen with the help of pbg deaminase forms hydroxymethyl bilin in both the organs now here also two variety one is called hepatic pbg deaminase and in bone marrow in erythropoietic tissue it is erythropoietic pbg deaminase here the documented disease is acute intermittent porphyria in which the hepatic pbg deaminase is either deficient or defective resulting in accumulation of pbg in hepatocyte then they will come into systemic circulation and will create clinical manifestation due to over accumulation and finally will be excreted in urine as porphobilinogen is not a tetrapyrrole so there is no question of photosensitivity here also no photosensitivity only there is neuropsychiatric and abdominal sign symptoms as the defective enzyme is of hepatic origin 
so no anemia is also there once again i am telling erythropoietic pbg dmis is absolutely normal in this group of patients so no question of anemia so the disease is acute intermittent porphyria defective enzyme is hepatic pbg dmis clinical features are abdominal and neuropsychiatric sign symptoms no photosensitivity no anemia now the hmb spontaneously all the hmb molecules spontaneously convert into upg1 without any enzyme but maximum of this upg1 more than 90% of this upg1 they with the help of another enzyme called upg3 co-synthase converts into upg3 in both the organs so there is a variety of hepatic upg3 co-synthase and there is a variety of erythropoietic upg3 co-synthase now the rest of the upg1 which are not converted into upg3 by using the upg3 co-synthase enzyme they with the help of cytosolic upg decarboxylase convert into cpg1 while present in the cytosol the upg1 and cpg1 in both these organs as they are very negligible in amount they will not create any disease because the accumulation is very little no clinical feature will be manifested they spontaneously can convert into from upg to uroporphyrin uroporphyrinogen to uroporphyrin and from cpg that means coproporphyrinogen to coproporphyrin but without creating any clinical manifestation next we learn another disease in which erythropoietic upg3 co-synthase is defective but before that let's recap very quickly till now we learned three diseases one is due to defective erythropoietic allosynthase enzyme but i had not marked here because that is not classified under porphyria that is separate disease x linked sideroblastic anemia next is hepatic alladehydratase that leads to acute hepatic porphyria next is hepatic pbg dmis defect in this hepatic pbg dmis leads to acute intermittent porphyria please be patient see the next video in the next video we will discuss the rest of all the porphyrias and their clinical feature thank you all